Hey there, explorers! Ready to dive into some amazing destinations? Today we're taking you on a journey through Russia's top 10 must-see spots. From the breathtaking beauty of Lake Baikal to the bustling streets of Moscow and beyond, get ready for an adventure-packed ride. But wait! Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest travel guides and tips. All right, let's get this adventure started. Number 10. Lake Baikal A cool lake in Siberia. It's the deepest and oldest freshwater lake in the world, holding about a fifth of all the unfrozen freshwater on Earth. It's super long, stretching over 600 kilometers or 370 miles, so it's one of the biggest lakes in the world. The lake is famous for being clear and having a special ecosystem. You can see deep into the water more than 30 meters or 100 feet down, which means it's home to lots of different kinds of water animals, including the Baikal seal, which is the only kind of seal that lives in freshwater. Because the lake has been separate from other bodies of water for millions of years, it has its special kinds of animals and plants that you can't find anywhere else. Number 9. Moscow The main city of Russia It is a lively and busy place with a long history and lots of different cultures. It's one of the biggest cities in Europe and it's where Russia's government, businesses, arts, and science stuff happens. The city has been around for over 800 years and has been important in Russia and world history. Moscow has famous places like Kremlin, where the president of Russia lives, and lots of museums, churches, and fancy buildings. One of the things you might think of when you think of Moscow is St. Basil's Cathedral, with its colorful round roofs. It's in Red Square, which is a big open space where lots of important things have happened. Moscow has a cool cultural scene, with great theaters, art galleries, music places, and fun things to do at night. It's also known for its writers like Leo Tolstoy, Fyodor Tostovitsky, and Anton Chekhov, who lived there. Number 8. St. Petersburg Often called the Venice of the North or the Northern Capital of Russia, it is a city with a lot of culture and history. It was started by Tsar Peter the Great in 1703 and was Russia's main city for more than 200 years until 1918 when Moscow became the capital again. The city is famous for its beautiful buildings, pretty canals and big palaces, many of which are special and protected by UNESCO. The middle of St. Petersburg has important places like the Winter Palace, the Hermitage Museum and the Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood and the Peter and Paul Fortress. The Hermitage Museum is in the Winter Palace and it's one of the biggest and best art museums in the world with lots of art from different times and places. St. Petersburg's is also known for its culture and smart people. It's where famous writers like Fyodor Dostoevsky, Alexander Pushkin, and Anna Akhmatova lived and worked. The city's theaters like the Marinsky Theater are super famous for their opera and ballet shows. Number 7. The Altai Mountains A big and beautiful mountain range in Russia, Mongolia, China, and Kazakhstan. They're wild and pretty and people think they're special because of how amazing they look and all the different plants and animals that live there. These mountains are super long, stretching over 1,500 miles or 2,500 kilometers. They have tall peaks, deep valleys, clear lakes, and fast rivers. The tallest peak is Mount Belucha, which is 4,506 meters, 14,783 feet high. There are also a lot of big ice blocks called glaciers, like the Potanin Glacier. The Altai Mountains are famous for having lots of different plants and animals living there. Some of them are rare or in danger, like the snow leopard, Altai argali, a kind of wild sheep, and Altai ibex, another kind of mountain goat. People who like animals and want to protect them like to visit these mountains. Besides being beautiful and full of life, the Altai Mountains have a long history and different culture. People have lived there for thousands of years, like the Altaians, Kazakhs, and Tuvinians, who all have their special traditions. You can see old drawing on rocks, big graves, and important places all around showing how important these mountains have been to people for a long time. Number 6. Suchi 
a city on the coast of the Black Sea in Russia between Caucasus Mountains and the sea. It became famous worldwide when it held the 2014 Winter Olympics, the first time Russia hosted the Winter Games. The city has a warm climate, so lots of people like to visit the beach. Suchi's coast is about 145 kilometers or 90 miles long and has sandy beaches, palm tree lined walkways, and lively beach hotels. Besides the beach, Suchi is surrounded by beautiful nature, like the Caucasus Mountains. There is a special place nearby called the Caucasus Nature Reserve, where there are lots of different plants and animals, including rare ones like the Caucasian leopard. Suchi isn't just for summer fun though. In winter, you can go skiing and snowboarding at places like Rosha Kotur and Krasnaya Polyana in the Caucasus Mountains. These places were made for the Olympics. Number 5. The Kamchatka Peninsula A wild and remote area in the far east of Russia reaching into the North Pacific Ocean. It's famous for its amazing natural beauty, untouched wilderness, and cool geological stuff like lots of active volcanoes. One big thing about Kamkatcha is its volcanoes. There are about 160 of them and 29 are still active. The tallest one, Klyuchivskaya Sopka, is the highest volcano in Eurasia and one of the most active in the world. There is also the Valley of Geysers in the Kronsky Nature Reserve, which has the second biggest bunch of geysers in the world. Kamchatka landscape is diverse with snowy mountains, deep valleys, big forests, and wild rivers full of salmon. Not many people live there, so the place is still really natural and animals like brown bears, wolves, reindeer, and lots of birds call it home. The people who have lived in Kamkacha for a long time, like the Koryaks, Edelmans, and Evens, have been there for thousands of years using the land's natural stuff to survive. You can still see their traditions and art today. Number 4. The Caucasus Region a diverse and culturally rich area where Europe and Asia meet. It's known for its beautiful mountains, different cultures, and complicated history. It includes countries like Russia, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and parts of Turkey and Iran. The Caucasus Mountains are the main thing about the region. They go from east to west between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea and have some of the tallest peaks in Europe, like Mount Elbrus, which is the tallest mountain in Russia and Europe. Lots of different people and cultures live in the Caucasus. There are groups like the Georgians, Armenians, Azerbaijanis, Chechens, Ingush, and many more. And each has its language, traditions, and customs. The history of the Caucasus is complicated. It's been influenced by different empires and groups over time like the Greeks, Persians, Romans, Byzantines, Mongols, Ottomans, and Russians. All these influences have left their mark on things like buildings, food, and culture. Number 3. The Golden Ring A special place near Moscow, Russia, with old towns and cities that are pretty and full of history. It's famous for its old buildings, churches with pointy roofs, and nice countryside. The towns and cities in the Golden Ring are Sergiev Bosad, Bereslavl Salisky, Rostov Veliki, Yaroslavl Kostroma, Ivanovo, Sotsal, and Valdemir. Sometimes, other nearby places like Ployos and Uglish are also included. Sergiev Bosad is known for the Trinity Larva of St. Sergius, a big monastery that's important for the Russian Orthodox Church and is protected by UNESCO. Pereslavl Salisky is pretty because of its landscapes and has a monastery called Grotsky Monastery. Rostov Veliki, or just Rostov, has a big Kremlin and is by a beautiful lake. Yaroslavl is one of the biggest cities in the area and has a nice old part with big churches and colorful houses. Kostroma has a special place called the Epatiev Monastery and has a connection to the Romanov family who were in charge of Russia for a long time. Ivanovo is called the City of Brides because of its old textile industry and its history with women's rights. Number 2. Ergaki A beautiful mountain range in southern Siberia. It's famous for its amazing natural beauty, rough landscapes, and untouched wilderness which attract people who love being outside, hiking, and nature. The Ergaki Nature Park was made in 1999 to protect a big part of Ergaki and all the different plants and animals that live there like bears, wolves, deer, and Siberian ibex. 
One of the coolest things about Ergaki is its tall, rocky peaks that shoot up from the valleys and canyons around them. The tallest peak is Mount Kiziltash, which is 2,905 meters, 9,531 feet high. Other important peaks are Mount Sablia, Mount Kodzhafoski Kamen, and Mount Bird. Ergaki has lots of fun stuff to do all year round. In summer, people like to hike and climb rocks using special trails and climbing spots to see the awesome views. In winter, it turns into a snowy wonderland and you can go snowshoeing, skiing, and climbing on ice. Number 1. Vladivostok A big city and port in the Russian Far East, near China and North Korea. It's the main place in Promorsky Krai and the biggest port Russia has on the Pacific Ocean. Vladivostok is really important because it's Russia's link to Asia and a big deal for business and culture in the Far East. The city is famous for its pretty natural views with hills, bays, and islands all along the coast. People sometimes called Vladivostok Russia's San Francisco. One big thing in Vladivostok is Golden Horn Bay, a big harbor that's at the center of the city's shipping. Vladivostok has been around since 1860, when it was started as a military place and later became a big port and navy base. It's been part of important moments in history like the Russian Civil War and World War II. Today, Vladivostok is a busy and modern city with lots of different people and a lively atmosphere. It's got universities, research places, and places for culture, so it's a big deal for education, science, and the arts in the area. One big thing you see when you look at Vladivostok is the Ruski Bridge, a huge bridge that goes over the eastern Bosphorus Strait and connects Vladivostok to Ruski Island, where the Far Eastern Federal University is. And there you have it! I hope that through this video you were able to experience the enchantment of Russia and ignite your wanderlust. Don't miss out on more thrilling adventures, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for your next dose of travel inspiration. Your next journey awaits! Dive into another captivating video on our channel and let your imagination soar. Until next time, happy travels and we'll see you in the next video!